The Princess and the Wizard. It was Princess Eliza's birthday. She was just blowing out the seven candles on her cake when a wicked wizard flew down the chimney and into the room. Why didn't you invite me to your party? He thundered. Because wicked wizards like turning people to stone, replied Princess Eliza. So they do, said the wizard, and with a flick of his bony fingers, he turned the king, the queen, and all the party guests into stone. <coughs> Then he laughed a horrible laugh and said to Princess Eliza, "They like capturing princesses too." <laughs> Just then, there was a whirring of wings, and in through the window flew the princess's fairy godmother. She was late for the party. When she saw what had happened, she waved her wand and said, "The, the princess may try seven times to escape by changing her colour and changing her shape." The wizard just laughed his horrible laugh and said, "Changing her colour and changing her shape." Will never help Princess Eliza escape. <laughs> Then he snapped his bony fingers again and turned the fairy godmother to stone. <coughs> the wizard whisked the princess up the chimney and carried her away to his tall, dark castle. He locked her into the cellar, where she cried herself to sleep. The next day was Monday. The wizard unlocked the cellar door. He was holding the big red book, which contained all his magic. This is your first chance to escape, he said. I shall count to one hundred, and then I shall come to find you. He opened his book, closed his eyes, and began to count. Princess Eliza ran outside. The moat of the castle shone blue under the blue sky. She jumped into the water and turned herself into a blue fish. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. The wizard opened his eyes, looked in his magic book, and read: "To find where Eliza is hiding from you, look in the moat." For the fish that is blue, he fished Eliza out of the moat and took her to his kitchen, which was full of blue plates and pots and pans. They were all covered in dried-up food. So you like blue, do you? He said. Then set to work and wash. And he locked her in. On Tuesday morning, the wizard unlocked the kitchen door. He looked at the clean plates and pots and pans, and he grunted. <clears throat> Chance number two, he said. Then he opened his book, closed his eyes, and began to count. Princess Eliza ran to the farmyard. She turned herself into a yellow chick and hid in some straw. But the wizard read in his book. The straw in the farmyard is yellow and thick. Princess Eliza's disguised as a chick. He scooped Eliza up and took her to a cupboard, which was full of yellow socks. They all had holes in them, made by his pointed toenails. So you like yellow, do you? He said, "Then set to work and darn." And he locked her in. On Wednesday morning, the wizard unlocked the cupboard door, looked at the darned socks, and grunted. Mm, "Chance number three," he said. And he opened his book, closed his eyes, and began to count.
Princess Eliza ran to the meadow. She changed herself into a green grasshopper and hid among the grass blades. But the wizard read in his book, "The grasshopper princess is easily seen, chirping away in the meadow so green." He caught Eliza in a net and took her to his green bathroom. The bath, basin, walls, and floor were covered in the wizard's slimy toothpaste. So you like green, do you? He said. Then set to work and wipe. And he locked her in. Three more days went by. Each day, the princess tried to escape. On Thursday, she turned herself into an orange fox and hid in a pile of orange leaves. On Friday, she turned herself into a purple butterfly and fluttered among some purple flowers. On Saturday, she turned herself into a black cat and lurked in a black tunnel. But each time, the wizard found her. And gave her yet more work to do. On Sunday morning, the wizard came onto the roof where Eliza had been scrubbing the sooty chimney pots. Instead of grunting, he laughed his horrible laugh. <laughs> This is your last chance," he said. If I catch you this time, you must stay and work for me for the rest of your life. Then he opened his book, closed his eyes, and began to count. Princess Eliza turned herself into a white gull and flew up into a cloud. But as she hovered above the roof where the wizard was still counting, she saw words forming on the page of his open book. So that's how he finds me," she cried. "I shall never escape." Then she had an idea. She turned herself into a page of the wizard's book, a perfectly blank white page, with no writing on it. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. The wizard finished counting, and began to read his book. The princess turned into a bird in the sky. She hid in a cloud. Then she had one more try. That was the end of the page. The wizard turned over to read more. But there was no more. The next page in his book was blank and white. He flew into a rage. "You stupid book!" he shouted, and he hurled it into the moat. The book landed with a splash and sank to the bottom. All the wizard's magic was gone. At that moment in the palace, the king and queen and all the party guests came back to life. Where is Princess Eliza? They asked each other. Nobody knew except the fairy godmother, and she only smiled and said nothing. Princess Eliza had turned herself from a white page into a blue fish. And was swimming to the edge of the moat. She turned herself into a yellow chick and ran across the corn in the farmyard. She turned herself into a green grasshopper and hopped over the grass. She turned herself into an orange fox and raced through the orange leaves. She turned herself into a purple butterfly and fluttered over the purple flowers. She turned herself into a black cat and streaked through the black tunnel. Then, 
she turned herself into a white bird and flew. All the way back to the palace and in through the window. She perched on a chair at the tea table and changed herself back into a princess. The king and queen and all the party guests hugged her. Then Princess Eliza cut her birthday cake and everyone had a slice. <laughs>